Justin Rascon versus Jose Valencia Jr. Damas y caballeros, a continuación, el siguiente duelo de esta noche, tres vueltas en la división Peso Mosca. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout three rounds in the flyweight division. Los jueces, the judges. Rocky Taylor, Roger Woods y Tony Saino. El referee, Al Gaini. En la esquina azul, in the blue corner. Vestido de color negro. He steps in wearing the black trunks. He weighed in at 125 pounds. Su peso oficial, 125 libras. En su segundo combate dentro de la jaula. Con una victoria, esa victoria por su misión. In his second bout inside of La Jaula with one victory. That one victory coming by way of submission. Fighting out of Phoenix, Arizona, Jose Palencia Jr. Su contrario en la esquina roja, his opponent in the red corner. Wearing white with black trim, vestido de blanco con vivos negros. Su peso oficial, 125 libras, his official weight, 125 pounds. Dentro de La Jaula. Mantiene un récord de dos victorias y una derrota con una sumisión inside of La Jaula. He has two victories against one defeat. His, one of his victories coming by way of submission. Representing Tucson, Arizona, Justin Rasco. Gentlemen, been over the rules. Protect yourselves at all times and obey my commands. Touch your clothes if you want to. Go back to your corners, get ready to fight. Ready to go, Justin Rascón, the local fan favorite, Jose Pla Plas Palencia Jr. from Phoenix, Arizona. Battle of Arizona kids, ready to go. All right, here we go, guys. Three five-minute rounds. And Rascón in the white trunks with the black trim. Palencia going all black. Both fighters making their combate America's debut. Palencia Jr. is from Phoenix, Arizona, while Justin Rascon is from Tucson, Arizona. And he also said that he was a very big draw here in Tucson. Yeah, all the Tucson guys said they're the biggest draw. They sold the most tickets. Hey, yeah, this place is packed. Of course it is. Yeah, I like their confidence, though. Hey, just don't ever show your books, baby. Right? He went in for my favorite takedown, double underhooks, outside trip, but he was unsuccessful because he ran into La Jaula. Roscoe with those knees, he has a wrestling background. He's doing one as a pro. Last victory was a submission win. Valencia, 1-0, a unanimous decision. Roscoe picks him up, nope. And uh, Justin Rascón says that he's never actually in a training camp because he trains every day like he's preparing for a short notice fight. And he also refuses to be one of those combatants who balloons up in between bouts because his body is his business. You see Rascón construction on the back of his trunk. Construction company owned by his dad. He works as an electrician journeyman with him, but part time, but he's fully committed to the sport of MMA. He has a wrestling background, wrestled in high school. A friend of his actually took him to an MMA gym, and there it is. And he is long and lanky yep. for a 25er. He's really using his legs well to try to sink into the choke, but he can't get the choke, so he's going to try to beat him up in the meantime in order to get the choke. But Jose Valencia says, absolutely not. He faces into his fighter, or into his opponent. He gets double underhooks. Let's see if he can get a takedown of his own. Maybe not off the cage, but I've done it before. I think he could probably do it too. Good knee from Palencia. You mentioned the difference. Roscoe on 5'8", Palencia 5'5". Five, five. Yeah, he is three inches shorter. He's three years older, and he has uh, got less three inches reach. More knees from Roscon. I'd like to see him pull out this uh, takedown. If not, my favorite is to get on top of that head. His head is sticking right out there. You're not getting the takedown there. You're not really doing anything with your head on his belt line right on his hip. Take your head out, get over that head, hit a guillotine. Go for a front head draw. Pull him off the cage. That's or La Jaula. You actually look at, you saw Palencia looking at the referee like, are we going to do something here? Yeah. But the ref shouldn't be able to get involved like that. Exactly. He shouldn't be able to save you like that. You shouldn't be able to exactly. improve your position on your own without the help of the ref. And Roscoe kept on moving, kept on moving. There he is. 
Beautiful, in the right. beautiful trip by uh, Justin Marasco. And that's great. And again, with that long and lankiness of him, he is trying to impose his will in the aula. And he is confident that he is light years ahead of his opponent in every area. That's that wrestling background from Roscoe. Blue belt in jiu-jitsu. Putting his right hand up. It's Palencia Jr. Guatemalan dad, Mexican mom, Palencia Jr., the fighter from Phoenix. And they're sitting there There's in the crowd. They're going crazy. Yeah, they are. His mom and dad are standing up right in front of us. His dad is all fired up, punching his fist. Dad, as is his son. And is his family. Yeah. They're all freaking out. Yeah, they are. They have roots in Chihuahua, Mexico. And uh, they're looking at Rascón, looking good right use now. Use those hooks, Justin. It's yeah. Latin him out with those long, lanky legs. I like it though. He says he's not giving me the submission, so I'm gonna beat it out of him. Got that hook? Does he have it? And no, no, not yet. Not. But he's working it. He's, he's working gonna keep it. pounding away until he has no choice but to give up his neck. Valencia's face turning red, his shoulders turning red. And he's going in for that the animal choke. kingdom, if you get above that shoulder, it should be over. But it's not that easy, unfortunately. Ross going, keeps working, keeps working. There. There. And uh, do not count Jose Valencia out. He is hand fighting for his life right now. And he is not going to give up that choke that easily. Working on the choke is Ross going. Some blood on the forearm of Rascone. That means it's coming from Valencia. Final seconds of the opening round been controlled by Justin Rascone, the fighter from Tucson, Arizona, with a lot of friends and family in the crowd. And that'll do it for the first. And uh, he dieted go, guys, down all the way to 125. Fight. And you can see just based on his structure, he's long, he's lanky for a 125er, and he's lean. And the great oh, big, yeah. big, big, big overhand. And, uh, and a hook in the southpaw position is Jose Valencia's. There's a big right hook over the top onto Justin's chin there. Justin's chin made of granite. He ate it like an Oreo, and he continues to press forward. Roscoe in the white. Bring in the pressure. Jose says, get off of me. You're not taking me down, bro. Justin swimming in for double underhooks. He's got it. Clasp those hands together, little Justin. Oh, nope, he's going over the head. I like it because that's what I had called for from before. I said, get over the top of the head right there. Another factor in this one is the Tucson versus Phoenix, as Justin said. Tucson is always overlooked, no matter what, because Phoenix, the bigger metropolis, and the more attention up there, wants to put the city of Tucson on the map in the MMA world. Yes, sir, you are correct. There is uh, bad blood between the MMA fighters yeah. in Tucson and the MMA fighters in, tu in uh, Phoenix, and the MMA fighters in Tucson say, we don't get no love, man. We don't get no love. Yeah, Russ, go saying it. You want any kind of sponsors, you gotta work and you gotta grind for it. Phoenix, there's some of those guys who just get it for showing up. Yeah, and that's also what's really cool also about fighting on local circuits like this yeah. is that you have the ability to still collect that sponsorship money. Is he Russ gone? I'd like to see him do a hip heist right over that leg to the right side. Hip heist, get over that leg, boy. We got some good microphones if Russ gone can hear you over there. I wouldn't be surprised. I got the loudest voice out of anyone I've ever met in my entire life. That's why you're doing great as a broadcaster for Combate Americas. <laughs> Clasp that. We those hands together. Just, yeah, do it. Guillotine. He's going for the guillotine. Good knee from Roscoe. Oh, going for oh. the single leg. Going for the single leg. Stretching out. Nice uh, sprawl. If he can get that leg back. Justin won't have any uh, any choice. I'd like to see, he's got the single leg. Step over that leg, straighten that leg out, and hit your uh, underhook to a single leg sweep. He can reverse his position here if he can step over that lead leg there. He's got a hold of it. Back but, on their legs. Yeah, he's back still to holding the feet on. Is, is Jose Palencia. He's not going to make it that easy for Justin. And this is not a takedown. He has a howl against his face. Look at his head crunched in there. That would hurt my neck. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Uh. Nice reversal by Jose Palencia Jr. 
and Justin is forced to give up his back here. I'd like to see Valencia hold this position here. He's winning. He needs to hold this position and not let Justin scramble out. Eee, he's got a Kimura, and Justin's back to his feet. Nice job by Justin to get out of there. Valencia, father of two, works for a nonprofit dental center, provide free dental service to Arizona homeless shelters, as well as armed forces veterans. Those are the backstories of these fighters in Combate America really interesting. His brother is his main training partner who's also a fighter. They train all aspects of the fight game. And uh, Jose considers himself to be a very technical fighter. And again, he's wrenching on the neck of that. I like it. You see how he's grabbing him by the by the crevice of the chin there? Yeah. It's like a hook. And uh, he's using that to keep Justin's head crinked up like a like a French fry, crinkle cut French fry, you know, just it's kinked. It's Fr super kinked. Crinkle, French fry, crinkle. I can say that. French fry, crinkle. No, I can't. Well, <laughs> but I know what you're saying. Though. Yeah, you know, not like the regular French fries, but the, the kind of, one, yeah, yeah. Oh, like an accordion. Oh, those are good. But I know, I'm just actually. trying to say French fry, crinkle. Fr ah, oh, it. oh, oh, oh. Those are some big, yeah, heavy big shots, shots by Jose Palencia. Much better round for Palencia here Again, in the second. Look at his, I need his head posture to improve. I need his forehead to be on the belt. Of, uh, of Jose, I need him to cut the corner, get over those shoulders and get those shoulder blades towards the mat. Roscon wrestled in high school. As he said, as a kid growing up, he always got picked on. Part of it was his own fault because he was a big mouth. I had that problem too. <laughs> got to wrestle, actually was placed second in states in Arizona, a strong wrestling uh, prep program. Those are some really good elbows yes, by Jose. Are. Still nice job. I've seen some people get knocked out like that. Oi, oi, oi. Those are some really nasty elbows. They could in induce a cut. Second like round winding down. Final few seconds between Justin Ruscon, Jose Palencia in the desert of Arizona. Nice second round for both gentlemen. Cool, where they brand the, the cattle and the horses. That's the tattoo he's got across his sternum. Actually went there as a kid. Oh, Jose's trying to get his, uh, his his licks off. He's coming out hard in the third round, and uh, those those beginning exchanges kind of buckled Justin a bit. Ross Cohen used to go to the family ranch as a kid for the summers, and he got hot. And then it also got muy peligroso, muy. very dangerous, and oh, they yeah. told him you can't come back here. Yeah, stay in the states. So. He they understands say, the Spanish. Just missed out on learning it like the rest of his cousins. And like me, too. I'm working on it, though. Oh, you sounded good. Muy, muy, you said peligroso? Yeah, peligroso. Okay. That's dangerous. Nice sprawl. And he's going for it. He's that's deep, for it. that's deep, that's deep. Getting out of it. Is it? That's deep. That's deep. Use your legs. Use your great find. Oh, nice job by Justin to remain calm. In that guillotine, he doesn't have it, but he does have top position, Jose Palencia Jr. And uh, that's all that matters right now. You've got to win the round in the judges' eyes. And uh, going for those fight-ending submissions is what's really going to stick inside the judges' head. Nice ground and pound by Jose Palencia Jr. Last couple, second and the third round. These two have been on their backs. A lot of mat work. Oh, he's going to try to soup him up for an arm bar, but uh, let's see if Jose can wise up to the game. I'm like, uh, me and my last fight. Oh. Ross going on his back. Right, he stayed real calm when he. Yeah, because he could see the setup. He yep. didn't get overzealous. He knows that that's his only shot. Record of two and one, a fighter with, a, with that kind of record might have panicked and had to. Beautiful pass, I need him to go north-south head position. I need him to go more north-south. There's no submission there, he's not in a threat. He's got that topside guillotine again, and he almost uh, was completely passed. He went back into his guard. I would have liked to seen him go north-south position. That way he could have solidified uh, his uh, side control. Uh, he ended up re-guarding Justin, which was a beautiful job by him, scrambling. And I'd like to see him scramble a little bit more so that he can regain his guard. Couple good shots landed by Palencia on top of Roscoe with that left. Good, good. 
Another good one. Showing the work. Now going with the right hand. Controlling it. First one was one that Rascon was on top. Second was back and forth. He in the third is in mostly Palencia. With two minutes to go in the fight. Dropped it. Big right hand for um, Jose Palencia. Huge. Nice ground upon by Jose. And, and again, he's going in with those big, heavy shots with the ground and pound. Elbows, elbows, short shots here, Jose, when he's trying to control that arm. Jose, hand on the ground, hand on the ground. Right in front of the corner of Jose Palencia. The, the voices you hear oh. is his corner. Dude, those are flush. That one is. And, and, and Justin's just sitting there with his head open like that. Nice up kicks by Justin. Nice up kicks. Oh, good shot landed by Palencia Jr. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my good elbow. elbow. She's super hard. Another right from Palencia Jr. We're approaching a minute to go in the fight. Jose Palencia Jr. in black. Justin Ruscone in white. Ruscone. Oh, he's another. Valencia dropping elbows, dropping the bigger shots here late in the third round. Oh man, that's how you ground and pound. That he's, I think Jose Valencia okay. Jr. wrote the book on ground and pound. He's doing it here. 25 seconds to go in the fight. Ruscone on his feet. Does he have a flurry in him to end it? Back to his feet. Yeah, right, says Jose. Oh, I good luck, good oh, right for Palencia. The fighter from Phoenix is ending the third round strong. Nice as Jose draw. Palencia Jr., Justin Rescon, have put on a good show. Will it be a little bit too much of Palencia in the third as we will go to the judges Break. at Combate 13. Go, guys. Nice good fight, Rascon and Valencia. That third might have been too much. Damas y caballeros, después de tres vueltas, los jueces están de acuerdo con tarjetas idénticas. De 29 a 28, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, all three judges are in agreement with identical scorecards of 29 to 28. All in favor of the winner, by way of unanimous decision a favor del vencedor, por decisión unánime, José Valencia Jr. The fighter from Phoenix, Arizona, no nickname, is now 2-0. Good display in his Combate Americas debut. Fighting out of Arizona Combat Sports. The Arizona Combat Sports goes 2-0 at Combate 13 in Tucson, Arizona.